Victoria Ulmer sits by her small farm, surrounded by her six children and some of the animals, as her husband, an ingenious Polish farmer, takes the photograph using a camera he himself had built. Victoria might already be pregnant with the seventh child, and if she is not now, she will be very soon. But all is not as it seems in this seemingly happy photo. In the attic of Ulma's small house on the outskirts of Markova hide eight Jews. This is 1943 in German-occupied Poland. And no one in the photo knows that in just a few months all of them will be murdered. The only chance for Jews to survive was to find shelter among Poles. Poland was the only occupied country where the Germans introduced the death penalty, not only for a person helping Jews, but also the entire family. The Ulmas risked their lives and that of their children to help Jews, overcoming not only their own poverty, but also the risks associated with hiding Jews. For their courage and generosity, they would pay the ultimate price. In the early hours of the 24th of March 1944, the Ulmas farm was surrounded. The local villagers were ordered to come and watch as Joseph Ulmer, his heavily pregnant wife Victoria and their six young children were dragged out of their home alongside the eight Jews that the family had been sheltering in their attic. The Germans shot the Jews first, killing them with shots to the back of their head before murdering Joseph and Victoria as their young children watched and screamed in horror. The six young Ulmer children were then murdered. The Ulmer family is the symbol for thousands of ordinary Poles who were not only just and righteous, these were also heroes who risked their own lives and those they loved to save Jews from German death.